First up, there's new rules in Canada about exclusive listings. Before, realtors could advertise an exclusive listing on their website, in print, and on social media. However, as of January 1st, 2024, this is no longer the case. We must put on MLS if any public marketing happens within three days. Second, always have a walk away price. When you're a buyer, things can get emotional and you don't want to get into overspending, especially if you're prone to do that with other items like high-end shoes. Now, what this means is when you're at the offer table, you're going to have that exact number that you're going to have in your head so that when things get tense, you'll still be able to go to sleep at night if you hit that number. Third, interview multiple real estate agents when you go to purchase a property or sell your home. This is probably going to be one of the largest transactions you do in your life, so make sure you take the time to ask the questions you need. If this is a time where you want to make sure that you're hiring an expert, somebody who's in the weeds every single day, ask about their marketing, what their hours are, making sure they're working full time. This might not be the time to ask your cousin who sells real estate casually to do the biggest asset transaction of your life. And finally, consider taking the first offer that comes in on your property. All too often, we see a seller get a great offer out of the gate, and in their head they think, well, maybe underlisted, maybe I should get more. There's no guarantee this happens, and often, the first offer is always the best.